So uh, just before we get into today, or today's second review, sorry, um, I just wanted to say that I uh, am reading this still. I've been reading it quite a bit in the last two days, so I am making progress slowly but surely. I still have quite a bit of the book to go. I'm only uh, 107 pages in of... Oh god. 278. So, I have a ways to go, but I'm still, uh, still trekking on the book. Um, and also Sunday's reviews will be of the, uh, the Taken series. So I'm actually going to start those probably Saturday, Saturday sometime or Saturday night. Um, and then do the reviews and post them for Sunday because they do take quite a while to upload. Um, I've been extremely busy this morning. I'm still trying to get the Brookie video set up for today. Um, it might be tonight. If I can't get it done for you guys, I'm terribly sorry. I know I'm not procrastinating. I really am trying to get it done one of these weekends because I do want to bring content to my other channel. I know it won't be uploaded as often to my other channel. This will be my main channel and the other channel will just have DIYs so it'll be few and far between but I'll still try to get as much onto that uh, channel as I can. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, roll the intro and get to the second review of today. So the uh, second review of today was uh, The Last House on the Left. Uh, it was uh, produced by Wes Craven, and unfortunately he passed away a few years ago, and uh, I really did like his work. He definitely um, knew how to do the horror genre really well. If you don't know Wes Craven's work, he did quite a bit of a... Uh, he did uh, work on quite a few of the uh, Freddy movies, so the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Um, and I know that uh, that series has definitely gone downhill since Wes Craven hasn't been able to touch it. Um, but yeah, I would say that uh, this, this was definitely Wes Craven at um, his best, because he knows how to do this very, very well. Um, so this is just a this is just a uh, movie about a family who's uh, taking a vacation to their uh, summer home, and uh, the daughter wants to um, let her parents um, be by themselves for the night, so they can have their romantic night together because they haven't had that in a while, and she wants to go hang out with her friends. Um, they end up meeting this kid named what was his name, Jake. That might have been it. Um, anyway, they end up meeting this kid, um, and uh, his father and uh, his his father's two friends are criminals, and uh, they he takes them back to the hotel room because he has uh, some drugs that he wants them to try out. Anyway, and he he knows that um, he knows that there's a potential to get caught. Of course, they don't know that, but uh, anyway. The, uh, his dad comes back with his two friends, and, uh, they end up taking them down a back road and, uh, uh, killing them both, or at least, um, they think that they've killed them both, but the daughter ends up, uh, going back, or finding her way to her parents, uh, summer home, and, uh, then her parents take revenge on the people who have killed, or who have tried to kill their daughter, um, quite a few of these scenes were brutal. It kind of reminds me of Straw Dogs in a way. Just, uh, this was a long time before Straw Dogs. If you haven't seen Straw Dogs, go give that a watch too. Um, it's kind of the same concept, but it's a little, this one's a l spun a little differently. Like there's a, um, just because there's a, other people, uh, there's a family involved rather than just a husband and wife, right? Um, so yeah, this movie was done really well. It actually starts out with, uh, Krug is the name of the one criminal who is in the back of the cop car and, uh, the cops are talking away and then they stop at the train tracks and all of a sudden this truck comes out of nowhere, takes out the cop car, they kill the two cops and Krug and his crew get away and eventually they make it onto the front, uh, page of the newspaper and, uh, that's when... The two girls run into his son, and that's when things start to go 
a little weird because they uh, don't know that they've actually met up with the parents of this girl that they think that they've killed, right? And, uh, yeah, so it's basically kind of a movie on how far would you go if, uh, you know, how far would you go for somebody you loved if they were, if they were hurt or were in a near-death experience or almost killed by somebody else and you were able to exact revenge this easily. Now, I know that probably some of you would just call the cops and, you know, that's definitely the right thing to do. But, I mean, in this case, they were kind of being threatened in the house and uh, the one guy actually finds, sees the daughter on the table and that's when things turn for the worst, right? Because then you don't really have a choice. You know he's going to try to go get the other people and uh, make it difficult for the uh, family to get away. Um, the last scene with, if you have seen this movie, the last scene with the microwave where it's open and that he blows the guy's head up from inside the microwave. Now, I don't really know how realistic that is. I think you definitely have to jerry-rig the microwave because as far as I know, microwaves have to be closed in order to work. So I definitely think that was a jerry-rigged um, operation there at the end of the movie. But uh, yeah, this this movie was definitely gory. Um, it was definitely definitely a good a uh, a good uh, horror film. Um, it really gripped you and it made you kind of go ooh in some scenes. Like they definitely pushed the limits on some scenes. Now I haven't seen the original movie from the 1970s, I believe, so I don't really know how much different this one would be from the others. But uh. Yeah, I would I would definitely recommend watching this movie. Now if you're squeamish of certain things, there is a scene where um this does have some sexual content and it definitely does go a little over the top with that. So I would say that if you're squeamish of some things, definitely don't watch this movie. Now I don't want to give too too much away because that would kind of give the uh reason they kind of exacted revenge on the criminals in the first place. Now I don't really know what Krug was going away for in the beginning, but I'm assuming it wasn't anything good based on what they do in this movie um, afterwards to the two girls. So clearly they had a horrible track record and uh, the son does do the right thing and uh, help the parents out because he knows that um, that's not the life he wants for himself and he wants to be better than that. And uh, definitely follow, definitely, sorry, take his own path in life and not follow in his father's footsteps. And his father does try to kill him at one point in time. Um, because his father wants him to be, probably take over for him when he's gone, right? I mean, you want to, you're trying to raise your kids basically the same way you live life, right? So if that's all you know, that's all you're going to be able to do or that's all you're going to try to do is raise your kid the same way you were raised and the same way you're living life even though they might rebel and take a different path either way um so yeah i would give this movie a uh six out of five because it definitely does it does itself in the horror genre and uh yeah so i would say that uh this movie is definitely a go watch if you're really into horror movies definitely watch the unrated version um, I don't think the theatrical version is much, much different, but uh, I I will probably go back and watch the theatrical version another time, just to see the uh, differences, and uh, maybe do just a short review on that to see if there's any scenes that they cut out or make a little different just because of uh, just because of it being in a theater, right? Because there's always going to be. Um, a younger audience because on theaters you're allowed to take your kids as long as you're over the age of 18 so unfortunately people who have probably shouldn't see this movie have probably seen it but hey that happens with everything I mean I went to see Friday the 13th when I was like 14 or 15 and I probably shouldn't have done that 
because I don't even think I'm, I didn't, I didn't even make it through the whole movie. I had to leave the theater because the, there was scenes that just bothered me way too much. Not, not even, I don't, I don't mind scary movies, but sometimes it just goes a little over the top. I have watched it, this was the new Friday the 13th, so I have watched it and it doesn't bother me as much anymore because I know it's all just fake CGI and it definitely goes and help, it definitely helps to go look up the people who play the parts of those kind of characters after you've watched the movie because then you go, oh yeah, this is just fake. But I mean, this, this potentially could happen, which is why it's uh, definitely a more hits you harder um, with some of the scenes and uh, yeah so I would say recommend to go watch but if you're squeamish of gore and blood and some other stuff um, stay away from this movie it's it's not for you um, but if you like Wes Craven's work and you like the Nightmare on Elm Street series and I guess the Hills Have Eyes as well which are both very good movies um, then definitely go give this a, um, definitely go check this out, and as always, my Instagram account is, uh, linked below, and, uh, go vote on the new polls that I have up February 19th and 20th, and I will see you guys again on Sunday. There isn't going to be a video for tomorrow, because I'm busy tomorrow with other things, so I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, no videos. There will be videos up on Sunday for you guys, and... I'm going to bring a vlog for you guys on Monday, so I'm going to try to get some content tomorrow, vlog a little bit, because we're go possibly going to Belva with a friend. i um, still going to try to bring you guys the Brookie video today, because um, I'm really trying to get that, to, that in sometime as soon as possible, um, and then I will definitely be doing a review of this soon. So everything I'm doing, every I'm trying to get every video done as promised, but sometimes it's hard with scheduling. And the weather has been so bad outside recently. Um, it's like snows and then it stops and then it snows. So uh, it's just it's frustrating. The weather makes it very difficult for people to travel um, because the roads are so bad. And then it freezes overnight and then it, the roads get so slick. And people don't want to go out because there's so many accidents everywhere. It just makes it very, very hard um, to do stuff in the winter. So in the summer, I will definitely be bringing you guys a lot more vlogging as opposed to um, movie reviews. And in the winter, it'll probably be more movie reviews and gaming once I get that all set up. Uh, I'm actually hoping to do that tomorrow. So that might be part of the uh, vlog for tomorrow as well. And uh, then I still have to talk about setting up my shelving units because I want to bring you guys a better a, uh, a better um, uh, place to review and stuff like that. Because uh, this backdrop's kind of boring, isn't it? It's getting kind of boring, and uh, I want to bring a better backdrop for you guys, and I have a lot of stuff to set up <coughs> and take care of, and I still haven't gone out and bought a dresser yet. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on now, so that's where I will leave off this review. Um, thanks for watching. Also, go back and watch my previous reviews, um, but just keep in mind that these reviews are definitely more in-depth, and so that just so that um, if you don't, if you want to go watch the movie first and then watch the review, definitely do that. But if uh, you want to come and watch the review first because you're, you think that uh, it will interest you more in the movie, um, just because you want to learn more about the movie or know a little bit more about the movie, then certainly click on the review first and then go let, uh, then and then go watch the movie. Um, comment below if you've seen the movie what you think of the movie. Um, give it your own rating. Maybe you didn't like it. Let me know. If you did like it, let me know. Um, also, like, comment, subscribe. Um, because I try to bring videos every day. I know I'm not going to be bringing a video for you guys tomorrow. Um, but actually, maybe I will bring a vlog for you guys tomorrow as well as Monday. If I have enough content. I'm not promising a video for tomorrow, though. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Who knows? Anything can happen, right? Um, so yeah, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say for today, and I will, uh, see you guys again, definitely on Sunday, possibly tomorrow, for sure on Monday, and then I have my whole, basically, next two weeks planned out for videos, so I like to stay ahead of the game, and I will see you guys later.